This is the Hoover Dam, a 700-foot wall of concrete wedged into a desert canyon, holding back the weight of a two-year supply of an entire river. Today, it stands as a silent monument to human ambition. But this serene image betrays the violent story of its creation. This is not a story about building a dam. It's a story about waging war. A war against a vicious, untamed river. A war against an unforgiving desert. And a war against time itself. It's the story of how, during the darkest days of the Great Depression, America undertook the impossible. The Hoover Dam, taming a monster. Before the dam, there was the Colorado River, and the Colorado was a monster. For centuries, it was unpredictable. One season, it would surge into a raging torrent, wiping out entire farming communities in Southern California's Imperial Valley. The next, it would shrink to a trickle, leaving that same valley to wither into a dust bowl. For the millions of people trying to build a future in the American Southwest, the river wasn't a source of life, it was a constant threat. The solution was audacious. Build a dam bigger than any the world had ever seen. The plan was called the Boulder Canyon Project. Its goals were threefold. Stop the floods, provide a reliable water supply for farming, and generate massive amounts of hydroelectric power to fuel the growth of cities like Los Angeles and a sleepy little town that would one day become Las Vegas. But how do you plug a canyon 